Welcome back to Mental Math. Here's one of those viral math problems that breaks the internet. 16 divided by 4 thirds times 3. Seems simple enough, right? But millions of people argue about whether the answer is 4 or 36. And here's the crazy part. Both groups think they're following the rules correctly. So what's going on? Well, it all comes down to how we interpret this sequence of operations. Let me show you both methods. Let's start with the standard approach, using PEMDAS to give us a clear order of operations. The key rule here is that division and multiplication have the same priority, so when we see them together, we work from left to right. Here's our expression. 16 divided by 4 thirds times 3 Working left to right, we start with 16 divided by 4 thirds. And remember, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we flip 4 thirds to get 3 fourths. Division becomes multiplication when we flip the fraction 16 times 3 fourths. 48 divided by 4 equals 12. Now we're left with 12 times 3. Just a simple multiplication. 12 times 3 gives us 36. Now let's see the other interpretation. Some people look at this and see the fraction as naturally grouping with the multiplication that follows. From this perspective, when you write a fraction next to a multiplication, it feels natural to treat them as a single unit. So everything highlighted becomes what we're dividing by. If we add parentheses to make this explicit, it looks like this. Now we need to simplify what's inside the parentheses first. 4 thirds times 3. When multiplying a fraction by a whole number, we multiply the numerator. 4 times 3 in the numerator. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So now we have 16 divided by 4. One last step. 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. So what's the truth? Well, if we follow the strict order of operations, we get 36. But the notation itself is ambiguous enough that both interpretations feel reasonable. The standard convention gives 36. But when fractions interact with adjacent operations like this, the notation becomes genuinely ambiguous. Now, technically, this expression is mathematically valid. If you want 36, write it like this with explicit parentheses. And if you want 4, write it this way. But honestly, the best approach is to avoid this notation entirely. Just write it as a single fraction. Now both interpretations are completely unambiguous. Here's the real lesson. These viral math problems aren't testing your math skills. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of mathematical notation ambiguity, hit that like button and subscribe to Mental Math for more problem-solving insights.